Hello, in this video, we will be implementing Serilog to our existing web API application. We will also be touching on some terms we can come across when working with Serilog. The following are the sections for this video. First, we will install Serilog ASP.NET Core Nougat to our application. Then, add new Serilog request logging middleware to our startup. Then, implement use Serilog in create host builder. After that, we will configure and implement logger to the console app. Then we will do testing. Lastly, we will define enrichers and sync. If you want to follow along, which I recommend, you can download the code from this GitHub repository. The link will be provided in the video description below. Hi, my name is Eugene and my mission is to spread lifelong learning. I've been into programming for more than 10 years, but now more than ever, there are more things to learn. Join me as we explore the world of programming. Right now, our focus is .NET 5.0 Web API, but we are not limiting ourselves to that. There are plans to include other topics like React and others, so please comment below for topics you would like to be included. So now let's start off by cloning the code. Control tilde cd to your favorite folder. Then get your link and then git clone. repository name and then the folder name you would like to to have customer ma management okay cloning that then let's open the folder Open the folder slash customer management. Okay. So that we have a comparison for before and after. We want to run the application first. So let's go to the terminal cd api dot net watch run okay building Just bear with me for building so here you should see some lugs Okay, so here is the result when we try to run the application. I'll try to run the get command. So in Swagger, we'll just try to get list of all customer, get API customer, try it out, execute. And we have the list of customer. So notice that there is no lagging happening here. Okay, now let's just zoom a bit. Control plus and Control Shift P. Open Nougat Gallery. Serilog.asp. So we install this at the API layer. and close close this first okay now let's go to startup api 
startup.cs let's go to the place where we configure the middleware so add here app that use server log request login so let's resolve issue control that use server log okay okay now let's go to program.cs in the create host builder we add that use server log okay control that using server log okay now let's create a method public static void configure logger so we'll just put uh, the configuration of logger here so log that logger equals new logger configuration Then this should write to the console that write to that console. Then lastly that create logger. So we want to call this in our main. So here we we'll call the configure logger in our main then let's try to do some logging so log that information so here we will say starting application so let's create a try catch statement here So we need a try finally. So why do we need this? Because we need to call this log that close and flash. This will reset the configuration for the log. So here, resets log that logger to default and exposes the original, disposes the original if possible. And then maybe we add another log here. Closing application. So let's copy our create host builder. Cut our create host builder inside this. Try finally. Okay. Save. Now let's go to the terminal tilde and then let's stop the application first control C okay so you can see here it's closing up there's a message closing application let's run again that net watch run So this should be faster because it's not the first time we're building so you can see the message here there's more lags so it says starting the application it tries to run the entity framework we can see what happened so it checks the migration history and then this is for our seeding so it checks the team membership if there's one row and then the application is now running 
Okay, now let's go back to Swagger and hit uh, get customer again. So you got the list of customer. So back to VS Code, you can see that once we run the endpoint, it's here. So it, it route to the list customer and then it shows us the stored procedure run the script run and then it shows us the endpoint was hit and then this is the amount of time it used so this will be helpful for investigation maybe we can check the performance what happened during the time and also you can see that the time is here with the log type which is information INF so right off the bat we can see that there are more features like the date and the, the log type and then it also logs the action that happened so we can see what happened to the application if someone calls the endpoint so let's proceed with the enricher so enricher add more properties to your log like correlation id client info and so on so this will uh, give us more information in our logs oh don't worry i'll elaborate on this on the next video so syncs Write your logs to different places like text file, database, or log management application. So earlier, we showed that our sync is to write on a console application. On the next couple of videos, I'll show you more about syncs. So to summarize, we showed how to implement basic serilog, and then we discussed Enricher, which adds properties to your logs and syncs, which you can indicate where to write your log. So you can have more, more or one, more than one enrichers. You can add more than one enrichers and also add more than one syncs. So you can write on a table, you can write on file at the same time. That's all for this video. Please hit like and subscribe so that we could help out more people. Comment below for questions and topics you would like to be discussed. Thank you and good day.